Bit of a strange story here. Uh, researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences claim they have successfully created genetically modified monkeys with autism. The scientists actually believe that this achievement could make it easier to test treatments on humans, of course, but that, of course, raises all sorts of thorny practical and ethical questions over how useful such animal models should be. Genetic research in monkeys is notoriously difficult for a number of reasons, but for instance, monkeys, like humans, typically produce one offspring at a time. So as you can imagine, it takes years to rear large enough numbers for a study. But if this whole thing wasn't already weird enough, apparently these scientists have tackled that issue by accelerating the reproduction process. So it takes less time to create new generations of these autistic GMO mutant monkeys. These scientists say that the monkeys show very similar behavior to human autism patients. For example, the monkeys, the, the test subjects, were observed pacing in circles and interacting less with other monkeys. They became very stressed more easily and researchers stared at them in the eyes for hours and then they would apparently start to grunt and scream and get very angry, but is that because the monkeys really do have autism or is it because they've been locked in laboratory cages their entire lives as mutant experiments and being stared at for hours? So I'm very skeptical. Similar studies on mice have been tested in the past, but as you can imagine, those results aren't very promising. Uh, keep in mind, mice do have very different brains from our own. Obviously, the monkey brains are very much closer to ours, so for that reason, the monkey model should, in theory, be superior to the existing mouse models of autism because it actually shows more clearly some of the autism-like behaviors, for example, running in a circle and screaming uh, very, very loudly. Huda Jogbi, she's a pioneer of MECP2 studies in mice at Baylor College of the Medicine Institute in Houston. Uh, just so you know, MEPC2, that's the name of the gene associated with autism. Uh, she's very skeptical too. She says this, the monkeys do not mimic some of the human MECP2 duplication symptoms, such as seizures and severe cognitive problems. This could be because the expression of the genes in the monkey model is triggered by a different mechanism from that in humans, a limitation that the authors recognize. So guys, it's unlikely that this whole technique will be approved for humans anytime soon. But what this whole thing kind of shows is, Yes, they have autistic monkeys that they've created, but they don't really know for sure. We don't know whether that's ethically or not the right thing to do. At least you can let me know in the comments. I think it's disgusting. But one very important point that has been reached is this. Some people are saying the fact that the Chinese and the Japanese are doing these experiments, they're kind of saying, well, they're very ahead of the game because in Japan and China, they don't really care so much about the ethics behind this, plus it's much cheaper. We don't do this kinds of stuff in the USA. So in theory, we could be very behind studying the brain in the future. But do we really want to be ahead on these kinds of things? I don't think so.